Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are and whenever you are listening I'm Noor, welcome back to my channel with a new episode and a new topic which is self-confidence My dear friends, I'm sure that at least 90% of you need to listen to this episode because believe me, you will benefit from it So first of all, do you think you are confident of yourself? Well, you don't need to answer it, just wait till the end of this episode because you will discover many, many things. Now we move to our topic. We all know that self-confident people have a special charm and charisma that attracts attention, right? When you see them, you may have thoughts like, why am I not like them? What do I like? Plus, you may also think about your own flaws and then... It makes you feel frustrated and sad and maybe more. Maybe even it will lead you to depression, who knows? Let me tell you something. We all have flaws. No one of us is perfect. Because if we show the good and the beautiful side of us, it doesn't mean that we don't feel insecure about some things. If I was tall or short, slim or healthy, white or black, I'll see this as a difference from others and the difference is beautiful at least in my opinion I talked about all this because I wanted to tell you that the first step to achieve self-confidence is self-acceptance yes, self-acceptance mm, what does this mean? it means to accept yourself as you are but when I say accept yourself as you are I also do not say that you have to stop at this point because self-acceptance will give you the courage and it will support you to develop yourself further. That's why I told you it was the first step. So after this one, I mean after self-acceptance and start developing yourself, you will feel indescribable happiness. You know what I mean? You will also feel that the fear and the frustration you are living in it wasn't worth all of your time, believe me. So try to turn your weaknesses into your strengths. Okay, some of you will ask, how can I uh, turn my weakness into my strength? I'll give you an example, a simple one. So, if you are not satisfied with your body shape or you're overweight and you didn't accept it, there's a solution to this. All you have to do is to stop being lazy. Uh, go out of your comfort zone, start a healthy diet with exercising, certainly with discipline, okay? And I challenge you if you don't see a good result of this routine. Guys, this was one of a million examples. All I want to say that everything has solutions. I know that self-confidence is not related to appearance, but I'm talking to those um, who will not be able to accept themselves as they are. If you are listening carefully, you will notice that I always go back to the first step because it's the most important thing and everyone knows that the first step is always the hardest. If you can take this step, know that you have covered 50% of the road you intend to cross. Well guys, I decided to not hide anything from you, so I will tell you a small secret. Not all self-confident people are self-confident. Not all self-confident people are self-confident. Yeah, I'm sure of what I'm saying. Just listen to me carefully and I will convince you. In fact, they seem to be confident of themselves. Maybe through their speech movements, the way they walk, or even the way they sit. Um, all of this is fabricated and staged. Yeah, just to make people think that they are confident. Let's be clear that I'm not talking about everyone and I'm also not saying that this is a bad thing and don't do it guys it's the contrary I salute them yeah, I salute these people you will ask me why okay, I salute them for one reason for their intelligence because they know that self-confidence is undoubtedly the key to success and it makes a person feel independent, optimistic and positive in life in addition, they also know that self-confidence will allow them to get acquainted with people of importance and experience and thus expand their social cycle, which leads to increase their chances of changing their lives to the better. 
Therefore, you must give the matter importance and start working or even pretending to be confident, okay? As they said, fake it till you make it. Just act like you are confident and with time, believe me, you'll be automatically confident of yourself. Dear listeners, we have come to the end of this episode. I hope with all my heart that you enjoyed it and benefited from it. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you are new, just so you don't miss any interesting topic. Take care of yourselves, everyone. See you next time and bye.